This is the new Jackson Kayak Cuda HD, a very capable paddling kayak that I'm sure will put you on a lot of fish, but this video isn't about this kayak itself. I'm more interested in telling you about what's in the back. This is a new Newport Vessels NK180S direct drive brushless motor that runs 25.9 or 24 volt at the push of a button. It is compatible with any deck that can receive a power pole mount or any flat enough deck that can accept four bolts through the top. This is an add-on to your existing kayak. And what makes it so cool? What makes it so slick? Well, I spent the first 30 days with it and man, I can tell you it makes fishing and kayaking super fun. The entire NK180S is built out of aluminum, definitely designed to withstand the harshness of fishing in salt and brackish waters. And it's a true plug and play unit. This is the Jackson Cuda HD, the existing cables, the existing line, and the four screw mount here. Accepted this receiver pretty easily and I just plugged in the lines to the rudder system. And with the kick of your left or right foot, it steers right and left. Very, very easy to deploy, very, very easy to install. And uh, while this video does not go over the installation, I will link you to the Newport Vessels full installation video which does a very very good job of showing you what to do there's a total of four lines that connect to your 180s there's a line to your right pedal there's a line to your left pedal over there there's a line to your reverse lock which locks the motor in place and prevents it from swinging up i keep mine engaged uh, the whole time i'm using it out in the water and this is the line that retracts the entire unit up that runs to a lock underneath my seat so not only can you have the motor down in a 90 degree position to the hull but you can also kick it out to a little more than 180 degrees kind of on plane with the rest of the deck even a few degrees higher and that allows easy loading and unloading of the mounted motor in the upright position off the back of your vehicle the nk180s comes with an electronic variable speed controller and man gone are the days of five forward speeds and three reverse speeds that you get with your typical trolling motor just plug in the electric safety tab here and it brings it to the home screen so we've got our battery capacity rating here we're at 100 percent and we're reading 25.7 volts now that we are ready to go and the system is recognizing not only my battery capacity but the battery voltage and the battery type i'm going to go ahead and turn it on you'll see that i'm at zero percent throttle and zero percent watt output now i'm just going to throw this throttle forward and engage the motor and i'm at 30 percent 45 percent really you can really, really dial in, you know, exactly where you want to be. At 100% throttle, you can see my draw, you can see the watt output. This 1.8 horsepower motor puts out the equivalent of 60 pounds of thrust. And not only is it a lot of power in a small package, but it's very, very, very quiet. And we're just going to back it down to zero. There is a neutral click position in the throttle, so you can always find it. And we're going to throw it in reverse just to show you that you can get the same level of control, the same information, even going reverse. So if you're an older style kayak that can receive this mount, but doesn't have an existing reverse option, boom, you have a reverse option that not only gives you all the detail that you need, but can put 60 pounds of thrust going backwards. Pretty cool. So I've introduced you to the NK180S and how it's a great add-on solution to your existing kayak platform. I showed you the controller and how it mounts your existing steering lines and how you can rotate this up when not in use for additional clearance when loading and unloading. But Al, how does it actually perform on the water? Well, let's go launch and find out. I've got my safety toggle here. We're gonna plug it in and make sure that uh, our system is engaged. In case you fall out, this is why you have this. You connect this to yourself. I've got this connected to my life jacket. In the event you fell out of your vessel, uh, this would prevent the vessel from continuing on and completely shut off the motor. So we're gonna put it on the safety tab there. We're receiving it. The motor is reading that I have my two lead acid batteries to combine to create 25.5 volts. We're gonna press it on. I'm in my sealed uh, lead acid setting, 0%. And we're gonna punch forward. Here we go. <laughs> All right, 60% throttle now. We're in four feet of water. Let's turn away from the edge a little bit here. And man, 117 watt output. We're at 50%, so we're doing about a little under one horsepower here, so maybe 30 foot pounds of torque. And we are doing three and a half miles an hour. Well, reversing is a hoot too. <laughs> I'm doing three miles an hour, four miles an hour in reverse. That's crazy. All right, this thing is chair. Let's see how let's see how well it turns. 
All right. Nice spin here. Let's go the other way. All right. Check it out. All right. Let's punch it. Here we go. 100%. Woo! 17 feet of water. I'm doing about three miles an hour stationary. We straighten out a little bit. This is a mi five mile per hour zone. I guarantee I'd be exceeding the limit if I let this thing go. I think we're at high slack tide too. So this is a perfect time to test what this thing can do. And uh, one thing to mention, you know, when you add batteries, electricity to any, any vessel, any vehicle, really, you're adding a ton of weight. So the reason why uh, Newport vessels went with this LiPo variable uh, is to save weight in the future. Now I know at the time of this video, Newport vessel doesn't have their own LiPo, but there's a ton of LiPo um, options out there. They went with the 24 volt, um, you know, brushless system to increase efficiency. I know by now, a lot of you guys are expecting a 12 volt brushless system but 24 volt uh, with the power output that they have back here is what they consider to be the most efficient and efficient it is with the two 12 volts that i have stuck under here i could get max output for about one and a half to maybe two hours so that's doing you know five six miles an hour consistently trolling for two hours which is really good we are cruising man there's a lot of bait down there good thing i have a little fishing rod yeah, we are about five miles an hour. I know the max speed for this is five watts. And man, we're getting all of that right now. And I think we're at 100% right now, 100%. Doing 400 watts of power. Draw down is to 23 volts, 100% throttle going forward. And we're cruising at about five miles an hour or so, 26 foot of water at slack tide. So right on par with where I think we should be uh, in relation to the vessel that we have. I'm 160 pounds, maybe, you know, outfitted with all my gear. I probably have 200 pounds on the vessel over, um, you know, the, the bare vessel itself and not counting for the batteries that we have on this thing. I mean, man, this thing is, this thing is moving. All right, let's shoot this gap here. Here we go. Six feet of water. Hopefully I don't get high sided. Woo oh, it's threading the needle. We're threading the needle here. That was fun. All right, back out to 20 feet of water. All right, let's open it up and see what we can do. All right. 100% throttle now. 417 watts. Man, doing about five miles an hour. So it's rated at five knots, which I think is equivalent to five miles an hour. And we're getting all of that right now. We're at slack tide, zero wind out here. I just picked the perfect day to test this thing and run this thing for you guys. And it feels good. I don't know if you can tell, but the water here is just spraying on either side. It is just booking. All right, let's see how sharp we can turn this thing. Sweet. All right, full speed. 100%. I'm doing a circle that's about 20 feet wide. So, yeah, I could whip this thing almost in a donut. Not a true Mirage 360 drive kind of spin, but pretty darn good in open water. If I was, you know, fishing brackish water, a lot of tight stuff, I guess it really depends on the kayak that you're running. And maybe if I drop the speed down even more. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Now I'm doing a donut that's like. 10 feet in diameter or something like that. So and I guess it comes down to speed, shape of the hole, the steering system that you have set up. Yeah, man. I think I have this thing dialed in pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. It took a little bit to make sure that the steering cables were lined up with my legs and the motor and everything was tracking nice and straight. And uh, you know, that brings me to the very nature of this build. It's not designed with any specific hull in mind. It's a very affordable plug-in option for your existing kayak platform, provided you have, you know, a power pole mount ready in the back, or you have a flat enough deck that you can plug in four holes and mount it that way. And because it's designed as an add-on, it's going to undercut a lot of existing systems that are out there. You think of the Torquedos and the Bixby's. Those are almost twice the price of this system. The NK180S effectively offers you the option of electrifying your kayak for under $1,000. So thanks for spending your time with me. If you're interested in more information about this model, links in the description below. And, and if you're interested in this particular unit, go to newportvessels.com, enter code ishwithfish and get 10% off everything you see on the website, including this motor. You won't hear me on the water, but maybe you'll see me on the water. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.
<laughs> look, look out, losers! I'll see you later. Peace. Where is he? You got some. What you got, Adam? <laughs> oh, Adam's keeping up. No. <laughs> Oh, man versus machine!